is brown because when the bitches hear this they're gonna be like wow uh, smoking gas living fast wearing velvet can you take a four Yo, what's up guys, this is Sadi, and back with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make this insane b shakes in Davinci 1217 without any plugs we acquired. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment, and sorry this tutorial was out pretty late. I was kind of busy with my other stuff. So if you're just going to go first go into file, project settings, and make sure that your frame rate is 30 FPS, not 60 or other FPS. If it's rather than 30 FPS, the preset in DBShake wouldn't work, so make sure it's on 30 FPS. And also for the resolution, it can be 4K, 1080p, whatever resolution you want, it'll work on all those resolutions. And before you start, make sure your song is synced up, because if your song is not synced up, the montage turns out to be terrible, that just ruins the whole entire montage, so make sure your song is synced up correctly. And for today, I'll be using the song Velvet. And as you can see, this song has pretty sick beats, so it's kind of good for beat shakes. You can still use the beat shakes for now, other songs with good beats. So this is what it looks like for me with the song synced up. So you see it's synced up. So what you want to do, you, you can see all these bumps in like the um, audio you know volume right that's where the basic hits so what i want to do is just gonna zoom in and then go to the first part where like the basic hits right there and they're just gonna add a marker do the same thing to the next one right here add a marker go right here add a marker go right here add a marker and go right here to add a marker so that you don't have to like go back there so the marker automatically you know has like the place for you now what you want to do is go to your effects library and then you're going to go to open effects and type in adjustment clip. I didn't mean to go effects. You're just going to go to effects in the toolbox. Just drag an adjustment clip and you don't want it to make it that big so you're just going to shorten it a lot. Right. Oh. Or about this side, maybe like smaller right here. So about like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 frames of adjustment clip. Now what I'm going to do is right click on it and then go over to open in fusion page. And then you're going to get the fusion page part. And now what I to do is drag in the preset I linked as a Google Drive link in the description. So you're just going to drag this right here and then these three will pop up. Two camera shakes and a directional blur. While pushing shift and clicking, just drag this, these, these in. It's your choice if you just want to like put the line through it. Now it makes that little insane B shake. Then it look like this. It's kind of laggy. And make sure your playback is on quarter resolution, or else it'll be like way too laggy to play back. Now what you want to do is duplicate the adjustment clip. Right there, right on the part where the marker is. Now it's pretty easy since you have the marker. Duplicate it. Duplicate it. Then duplicate it. And then now you. Then it'll look like this. It's really laggy, but when it's rendered, it's all good. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment. And other tutorials will be coming soon as it soon hits the like goal and sub goal. So I'll be excited for that. And peace out. Hope you guys have a good day.